I think um, we should open the floor to questions from the audience um, as well, and we can sort of like continue in this style. So, um, are there questions? <coughs> yes. Uh, just the, the microphone will come to you. <coughs> I was one. Oh God. I was wondering about the last film that we just watched. I think it was number five with the woman in the park and the two bags. Did you put the bags there yourself or how did you come across the image? No, I never stage. Uh, I mean, I did, uh, uh, that time I didn't stage any video and uh, one video in in an um, exhibition place is staged uh, by, and uh, it's, it's um, friend of mine who was drawing, who was making, uh, was making drawings on the street. It's called Untitled Dedicated to Sengai. Yes, yes. And now I make another one, just, um, I, I was thinking I finished the, the editing and was going to show you, but, uh, but I decided it's not finished, so I will continue. So, uh, but it, it's, an, it's a one more, <clears throat> which, is, uh, which is not staged, but uh, at that time I didn't make anything staged. So it's, uh, um, so I don't know what was in the in the back, and I didn't bring them. They all just uh, like collected all this uh, subject. Other questions? Thank you very much for an interesting uh, conversation. Um, from the reviews of the um, exhibition, um, I got the impression that your art is about Russia. But from the conversation, I understand it's much more personal and not so much uh, showing Russia or greater, something bigger, but showing personal stories. Do I understand that correctly? Mm, but, um so I think it's very, for me, very mm, difficult to divide uh, the, the the things. So if <clears throat> I mean they 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 are they are Russian and they are even uh, sometimes I feel that they are Soviet. Uh, so and sometimes I I, I feel they they can be written as international. But uh, I mean it's mm, mm, they are they are personal, but as far as I'm talking on Russian language, I think they are they are Russian because uh, I think uh, uh, it has all these signs of the mentality built up by by the literature very much, and also um, um, what I always feel uh, like my mistake that I explain too much in, in the work, and it's, it's also like very um, I think the idea of the literature, uh, very classical literature, of basically 19th century in, in Russia, and. Um, but all these um, uh, details and metaphors, they also came from me from literature of 20th century, which uh, we, we discussed today would, would be Yuri Alesha, um, who is a very, very important uh, writer for me, or Andrei Platonov, these are just very, very um, good and strong names and strong, strong uh, literature. So, um, I mean, the good things and bad things, I think they, they are very much uh, belong to, to the language. So then that, but it would be difficult to, to, to find very strict definition there, there or not. Can I speak without my or uh, it's just there. there it is. Okay. Um, it's not so much a question as also a little bit of a comment, I say. Um, I consider your work very special in the sense that you speak indeed of metaphors but they are not, as in many of other works of Russian artists I know, they're not constructed, they're not totally manipulated. They are sort of uh, coincidence or, or indeed your observations or maybe your exercises in observ observing reality play a role in the, in as I feel that the work transmits metaphorical Images indeed, but not so. Okay, my question: um, It would be, uh, uh, do you? How do you see that yourself? Do you see yourself within the landscape of Russian contemporary artists, like those that are like Stodelat or all those? 
where, which stage indeed very opera-like or, or very theatrical. Um, how, do you, how do you see that? How do you see your position in that landscape? Is that a question you can... No, you know, I'm already uh, all the time responsible of the things which are happening in Russia. I always uh, ask it, uh, about our politics and about uh, very uh, difficult processes, which uh, I, even, I mean, they are very um, unexpected sometimes or very unreadable for, for myself. So, And for me, to, uh, I'm not... Uh, um, so I'm not responsible for all of the art which is coming from, from Russia. Um, and uh, the things uh, with, uh, which connected more direct with the politic, uh, um, how I understand it, uh, would be also the piece uh, which I mentioned this, um, this morning and be, which I think uh, is a very strong one. It's a piece of Henri Sala called Interview, mm -hmm. where his uh, mother trying to, I mean, he, she's, uh, it's a very, very big, um, a very strong moment when she cannot recognize herself in, <coughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in her past. So, and then it's, that, it's a really um, open, very big volume for, for, for me and, uh, and a piece I'm return always. So this I would, uh, mm, so mm, also, mm, yeah, I even maybe don't really would associate myself with just e even the field of the artist. It's always, uh, for me, uh, can be somebody who is working uh, with, uh, uh, with the literature or some, and also they are not, sometimes they are not alive anymore. So this, the, it's, it's more the mental field, which uh, mm, I would imagine as an ideal uh, viewer or somebody who I would apply uh, to, um, to ask the question. Uh, so this, this is a field um, I feel more, at least uh, more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I would also say anthropology, or s that I would mention in relation to your work earlier than uh, than with the other artists that I know. <laughs> so I did, didn't get this. I don't know. The word the, or the term anthropology. anthropology. Yes. That, that, that field is, is operating in your work for me more than uh, with the... I don't know all of them. I know only a few. But more than with the, the other artists I mentioned just before. This sort of, and indeed has also to do with that realism, the idea of realism. Sort of, it's the the metaphor arises in the in the dialogue with reality for me mm. it, in your work. Yeah, and art scene is uh, also very interesting in reality. I'm not denying it, but uh, many people are busy with it, so I don't feel I have to. And usually, I, when I work with uh, things, I really feel. Uh, I should react because I, I, they they are asking. I mean, there there are some images uh, which stays uh, sometimes for years, and I don't uh, don't work with them, but I always watching them. And uh, and uh, uh, for example, the um, uh, series uh, on duty, I was like five or maybe even ten years. I mean, time is now <laughs> so compressed. So maybe it was ten years, but. Uh, I was planning to take a photographs because I was thinking, oh, this is an ideal uh, people um, to take a pictures because they are covered by this uh, obscure glass, like a classical painting. They are, uh, they are not moving. They are mostly silent, and they are also very uh, invisible. And but also very, for me, they always exist. And I only did it uh, when. Um, uh, they got the monitors, and I feel okay. So it's, 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 it can happen that they will be replaced themselves. So it was already like uh, quite, <coughs> quite late. So, but it's for me. It's always a reaction, not a, um, not a project. And because of this, uh, I was if uh, so. I'm quite difficult with uh, uh, with some. Collective, collective projects because I have uh, uh, enough uh, contradictory collective in, in myself. So they have uh, to, too many voices. Uh, so I'm so sometimes completely destroyed about this quantity already. So uh, and because of this, um, I, I don't really feel uh, very deep in, in the art scene. Mm -hmm. 
Are there any other questions? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, no. Over there first. I'm on, I'm on oh. the mic. Okay. <laughs> So at, uh, at the very beginning of the talk, you actually um, uh, quite quickly uh, switched from realism to romanticism, which is uh, a peculiar th thing, which is not that obvious, actually. And that reminds me uh, the idea of another wonderful Russian artist, Andrei Monastirsky, who actually um, had this idea, not officially, but had this idea in conversation that all the art history can actually be cut to the opposition of romanticism or and classicism. So each movement is whether romanticism or classicism, basically. And uh, uh, back to politics, uh, I would say that the situation in Russia now is very much of a classicism. And it's very interesting for me that your approach is 100% romantic, rom romanticism on it. So perhaps it's more like a replica than a question, but that's that's what I can bring up. It's it's re realistic by the number of the of the things uh, I'm looking to, and uh, the way to approach may be more romantical. Like I was very pleased uh, to be part of the show. It was a it's a, it was a huge retrospection of uh, Kaspar David Friedrich, for example, and um, I like very much. Um, uh, his paintings with the uh, lonely figures and with this uh, 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 sky and uh, mountains and all this uh, stuff, which uh, which is already um, uh, nominated as a, as a holy sublime things. But at the same time, I like to, to keep this approach, but uh, don't uh, don't um, erase uh, the, the things which are more close and which are more simple or maybe more. They are the same enigmatic, but uh, not calculated as a. Uh, high, high, um, romantical or idealistic uh, the points, uh, but at the same time, uh, I like also the, his way uh, that the painting is not uh, not uh, the moral, but the painting is something which uh, influence uh, the space and uh, irradiate atmosphere. So he was insisting that one painting in one room, because he was thinking the paintings can, uh, I mean, otherwise it's a disaster of the energy. So, I mean, I like this uh, um, lone, he, was not, he wasn't lonely, I mean, it was a division, but still like uh, this uh, feeling of uh, loneliness and uh, responsibility of things are, which are made. Um, okay, and then, then gentlemen, and then, yes. Um, and yeah, your work is positioned within the back, within in the, in the context of the the former West. But but how do you relate to that notion yourself? Because, I don't, yeah. Well, it, I'm curious. As well. <laughs> I can say before that uh, this was actually the 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 first and the main question that I posed this morning as well in the interview, which will be available online. But. This is not to um, escape you from answering the question now. <laughs> yes, but uh, mm, I don't think I have more uh, new answers than we uh, tried to, uh, to, to to explain this morning. But I, I think uh, mm, the idea of West was uh, very strongly based uh, on the, um, let's say, not east, the, the, the geographical, but uh, the Soviet east. And uh, it was so, so big and solid. And uh, um, after this, um, well, the, the, after this powerful or uh, how to call this uh, huge monade uh, doesn't exist anymore, so the, the West become also um, um, Possible to multiplicate? No, no, no. Like a multitudes, so you have become become like it's now very many uh, little wests, <laughs> so, and or also <clears throat> uh, with uh, I mean with our time the things are just losing the the frames and it's happening in a, with the reality with art and with uh, with the mind and uh, things are interfere very um, very closely so. Um, Mm. 
uh, would say in in Russia, uh, very often uh, things I'm doing would be uh, would be told or or commented as a, oh she it's, it's really uh, she's Western artist, which for me would be I mean not uh, it's not me who 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 is saying like this, uh, but um, like I'm I'm representing something which. Uh, which can, which you can obviously find here, but this, this uh, not, um, uh, not what I can, uh, can uh, share with uh, this position. Uh, so and uh, um, it's it, it, the biggest, uh, the biggest point is uh, like we, we lose this um, uh, illusion uh, and. Uh, uh, mm, I mean, when, when the West is uh, far and uh, like uh, with uh, behind uh, this uh, iron curtain, and um, everything was um, accepted by uh, uh, Russian intelligence uh, as uh, Soviet intelligence as like we have wrong uh, situation here, but uh, something clear and very um, mm, rational and very normal is is going behind this wall and uh, but what we do like uh, it was a, it was one film very uh, very critical to all uh, soviet life uh, when uh, when it was already stagnated uh, has a title um which is uh, uh, which means uh, you uh, the, it's not possible live like this but uh, and it was very tragic film but at the same time it was uh, um uh, quotation of the one uh, comic uh, called the, the, the man who say so maybe our country and it was like mm -hmm. 70s maybe our country is kept it by all planet uh, just as example that it's not possible live like this uh, so I mean it was very strong uh, um, um, how they call the, the disposition, the very, very strong, very obvious border. And as far as uh, there is no um, that old border, so the, the, the idea of West become also um, former idea. I mean, it's my maybe very uh, amateur explanation. <laughs> <laughs> and for the detailed version, again, I will refer you to the website. Uh, there was a gentleman in the corner. Oh. Matteo? And sorry for my English. I always feel like I'm not, not pointing the right words to explain what I want to explain. Um, well, my question is the following. Um, we, during your conversation, we've uh, heard a lot of uh, uh, the term, um, uh, obviously, realism and also your uh, intention to detach yourself from a, from a label no? that could be uh, a, def a close definition of what uh, uh, could be could your work uh, be, re be in relation to the term of realism and at the same time there was also this constant uh, referring from you uh, to a cultural production from the 19th century or, or uh, to friends, as uh, where they were called, that worked in between the 19th or the 20th century. So, um, my, I was wondering what could be for you nowadays a possible definition of uh, realism in a, in the visual regime production, and uh, especially maybe in the context of Russia, in in the contemporary context, what could the realism still mean? And what could embed in in in, in the concept, in its concept of visual uh, uh, representation of realism that can be labeled as realism? Mm. <laughs> so I don't know for for the moment what what I could. Yeah, it's obviously not this uh, painting, which uh, from a painting which which has the same approach uh, of. Uh, at, yeah, I, I still maybe floating in in, a, in a terms because for me, a uh, very realistic artist. Uh, but again, sorry for uh, old example would be Van Gogh, for example. Like he's very for for me, he's very realistic and also uh, very. A realistic thinker, like uh, if um, 
I would not not only uh, accept his uh, his paintings, but also the way how he uh, described the life. And uh, so maybe I will search again in the literature in in the new time uh, in the contemporary time, because um, the realistic method could be. I mean, it's 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 mental mental tool and uh, mental um, way to to deal with things. It's very very difficult to 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 see. Uh, I mean, the just the, the uh, things if if if. If it's painting with recognizable images, it's not. Uh, it wouldn't be um, uh, realistic. I, I should really think what what can be realism now, because it's um, um, for me. Uh, I mean, to 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 look through a TV program uh, would be a very best example of realism, but it doesn't 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 say that I like it very much. But it's it's very realistic. Are there other questions? Yes. Thank you. Uh, perhaps I didn't quite understand everything, but all the time you're talking about labels, about realistic, etc. I think when I thought, uh, thought, saw the last part of your films, that they were very poetic. And I haven't heard the word poetic, I don't know if it is because of uh, you are handling the camera, because I'm not a filmer, but I, I like the term poetic in your work. What do you yourself think about that? <laughs> For me, I feel like all evening I'm a sister and I'm poetic, <laughs> but not enough, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> because um, uh, also, um, we mentioned this figure in a in a film. Um, how, how, when, 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 when I when I show some films I like uh, one month ago, and uh, for example, this is a it's a Soviet cameraman. His name is uh, Sergei Rusevsky, and he's a he's a genius uh, in in this um, uh, field. But uh, and um, I was reading his text, and he was saying, uh, "I'm shooting by the poetry." Like it's even uh, grammatically is not um, it's not possible to say it, uh, like this. Uh, I mean, but it's it immediately you immediately understand what what he means. So and and because of this, um, I like his work very much. Like he uh, he can um, mm, yeah he was he he was visualized me me metaphors. This what what he achieved. And uh, so m maybe I mean. I like to use the word um, poetical, but it's uh, maybe it's too pretentious. Uh, and so then, then, uh, but basically, it's uh, very, very for me, it's very value way to to approach. This is what I call to to go to go through, to reality through the metaphors. Is uh, it's for me the most uh, so most interesting. <laughs> if, if I may add here, because I, I don't believe that uh, what we would call today poetic is um, um, an opposite of, of, of realism, and they're not even comparable, because they're two very different kind of qualities in a way. And, and realism is a, is, a, is a device that you choose to, that you refer to, and so on. And, uh, you know, poetry is, is, is um, to a certain degree, inescapable, or, or it's, it's, a, it's a different kind of quality of the work, and it's a different dimension in a way. And they can be, you know, both there or one there, but they're not antagonistic, and, and, and again, not even comparable in a way as such. They're like two, two different vectors of an artistic object, I think. Because it. It might refer to what the lady here just said. Cosmin, you're using all these words, you're using all this language, which I think, I mean, I think you're sort of capturing Olga within a huge framework of where you use all these words that I hardly, I have hardly any notion of it. And like I think, realism. No, not only realism, I mean, every word um, some of these people here use are from studying, are from reading. And I was wondering, has anyone actually looked at the work, seen the poetry 
seen, I hope so. seen the sheer poetry, seen the love that she looks at this country. I, I sure hope so. Yes, that's what I hope so too. And uh, uh, you're all no, welcome to actually like see it again, like with the same eyes or with the different eyes. That even now, we, we're going to be open for one more hour and a half. So, no, what I mean is you're trying to label her work within a frame which is used at the moment at Bach, at, at uh, former West. And somehow she's been. All evening, she's been trying to get away from this label, escaping. escaping it. And everyone comes back again with the label, comes back, says, no, it's about realism. And then she says, realism? I don't have a strategy. Mm. I'm an artist. I just notice things. And I, I'm, because I'm a visual artist, I'm very, very observant. And I've got this very poetic way of looking at stuff. And of course, she has no strategy and no vector and no <laughs> i'm sorry i think no, no it's 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 you know it, it's interesting because uh just before the talk we had a um we had a guided tour and somebody asked well why don't you have more or i don't know if it was necessarily like meant critically but it was i guess just a question whether why don't you have more more texts in the exhibition that sort of like would explain or would um, would give more information or would place the um, um, would place those works in, in, in some sort of, well, I wouldn't say framework, but no, in, in, to, to actually give more information. And my answer was that, well, because there is a particular, that I'm not ne necessarily against this kind of like texts uh, or, or, you know, giving more information in an exhibition, but exactly because of the nature of the work, which is so much about seeing and so much about a certain way of seeing and a certain way of, 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 of relating to what you see as an artist, the work doesn't need this information. You can, and that's why we have a book, and that's why we have um, you know, all sorts of other ways in which you can um, think and, and, and discuss and get more information about her work, about the country, and so on. But the exhibition as such, and I think this is quite important if you go there, you know, exactly where the main story happens, you have the images, and they're staged in a way that is not random or not sort of like, you know, as a categorization. I mean, from the every sort of like ray of light in the space to every dimension, every aspect of indeed the aesthetic experience there is taken care of because that is indeed important. It's a very important component of the artwork. But then to imply that, you know, an artist that just does things without thinking about it is very offensive, I think, for most of the artists. Uh, I think that artists are not naive children, they just feel and see the world, in a way. Even if that's an important component of all of our lives, in a way. Um, I think there's a dimension of rationality that we all have to share. And this is not in order to frame the work in a way that kills the poetry, or kills the artistic from the work. It's another instrument that, again, does not replace making art and being in art, but comes together with it. I mean, we're not sitting now in the exhibition or, or the main event of having Olga with us. The main venue of having Olga with us, it's her exhibition. We are now in a sort of like sideline in which we try to discuss about things which are there in human culture. You know? um, a certain you know, way in which like art can help us do things, understand more things than just art, and even you know, a certain kind of like kind of sloppy way of trying to, you know, put art in some sort of story, in some sort of narrative. And for that, we have to use sometimes even labels that can be, <clears throat> you know, reductive, can be even slightly abusive. But, you know, it's a necessary speculation, I think. So, yeah, I think that's what we try to do. No, so I, uh, to I, well, I don't know if I, if I answered your question. So if we, you... we talk a lot with uh, Cosmian... Um about works and uh, so I was amazed by many, many, many very interesting uh, illuminative points and also with Cosmin we decided that this show would be not right, like a uh, typical uh, show with just a series of uh, different work in a, in, a, in a separate spaces and we were thinking how to uh, build it as a um, as a or artist or just somebody conscious like to how how work will uh, support each other what the, what the, how they could uh, talk to each other so it was all made uh, uh, 
um, with our collaboration, in our collaboration, and many ideas belong to Cosmian, which uh, um, I appreciate very much. So, and I would think it's a, um, it's a very good experience to have things, uh, because I could, I mean, I didn't, but I, uh, I could show you more works which are very, uh, I would say very about presence, presence, how it is. Like I have one piece, uh, which is half an hour, and we decided don't show it today. But it's about people uh, who are uh, on a boat, um, a Saturday boat, uh, going to, to have a uh, forward and back trip. And uh, things which are going, they are very irritating and uh, ugly, and just uh, also you see some expectation, you see some um, uh, some preoccupations, and you all always you I mean you don't accept don't ex don't expect anything good happen in in, in this uh, in, in this trip, but uh, but uh, suddenly things change because you 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 understand uh, through 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 the heroes that there is a love story and um, it's about appreciation about uh, respect between people and it's very very um, but at, at the same time it's very unshaped uh, work. Uh, some, some, I would say. So, and these uh, things, they need sometimes the borders, they need the frames, and uh, so I'm not against the label. Mm, I'm just uh, mm, trying to have, you know, like Bergman, he explained what the freedom is. It's like to uh, to know very good your limitation and also try to go a little bit further. So this is uh, like I know I know my field uh, and I know already I think I I, I mean I, I could very um, easily recognize uh, things which which are evoking me or uh, like like mine let's say yeah, like something which uh, or I belong to to them, but at the same time for me it was uh, very interesting to see where the, where the border and how how far I can can step what what kind of uh, interpretation or what kind of uh, new things uh, can can appear. So I'm very pleased uh, because of this show and uh, all the time to, to talk. We we have to find a label or definition, even if I don't even uh, to say I don't like it. But to say honestly, I even don't like uh, talk in public in front of public. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's all about the, how to how to make bigger your freedom, <laughs> so how, how to expand your limitations. Uh, there was a question over there, uh, even before Barbara. The yeah, I think you just kind of uh, replied and re responded in a sense. I was, uh, um, I wanted to react to the last question in a sense, like defending Cosming and attacking Olga, but then I was like, no, it's not about... <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, when... Um, there was one very beautiful moment uh, in this conversation tonight, when you said about, you responded to, to Cosmins um, about the responsibility of the artist, and I'm, uh, I'm actually defending you now, in saying that you said, no, the artist has a responsibility. And uh, it's not that escaping from a label would mean not assuming a responsibility. And I just wanted to know if you could name it for now, like what is it, your responsibility, now with the show, if if you can think about a way of naming naming it, it's difficult. I I feel sometimes I I cannot be an artist. The, 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 um, some um, we have discussion with uh, David Reeve, uh, you know, our colleague and also translator from this book. Uh, he had some like situation. He was in hospital with uh, his baby. And uh, he was uh, telling, like, I was amazed by this and that, and he described me the architecture of, of this of the, of the of the buildings, and uh, I, I I was telling him, Cosmin, oh, sorry, uh, David, I cannot do like the, like you because sometimes I'm in a situation when I feel. I'm not artist anymore. So, like, and uh, in, in Russia, it's quite often. But he's not a real artist, so that's why you know I think it actually <laughs> yes. works like that. Yes, yes, yes. And so reality is uh, so so strong um, sometimes, even. But I, and it's, it's in Russia and, and everywhere. So for me, it would be difficult to to deal with some situation. But I know the other artists they they can. So, um, I mean, I should maybe find uh, um, 
just very certain way of uh, of uh, interpret it or uh, or deal with it. Then I, so I don't feel I'm able. So maybe this is also uh, uh, the, the the answer of your question about responsibility. Another last pressing question. Okay, but yeah. Very quick. Very quick. And you'll be a very long answer. If <laughs> well, I'll just ask. It's a kind of chicken and egg question. Um, uh, no one's talking about sound and soundtracks, and I just wondered, because to me, a, a, a great deal of the feeling of nostalgia and um, romanticism is connected with the soundtrack mm -hmm. to the various things we've seen. I, uh, uh, at one point during that seven step thing, I kept thinking Jacques Tati, Jacques Tati, Jacques Tati, but that's me. Um, but I wondered, um, A, uh, what does uh, a soundtrack come first and a film after, or does it vary every time? And what, what leads you to choose what I see or hear as uh, something with such a, a very strong romantic Sound. But this sound, uh, particularly this sound, uh, is uh, from the book. Uh, it's a, it's a book to 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 learn the music, to 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 learn the rhythm, and I choose it because of uh, of the exercise content uh, of the video. So it's a very little pieces how to how to play music. So and f the question of uh, repeating or like self. Uh, Self-denying or to be uh, inspired is very much about uh, how to, uh, if you can, if, if how you, how good you can do these uh, exercises. So this way I choose this one, and um, I think the best is uh, if you can use uh, music at the play from the place. Uh, I, I, I like it most, but it's very, very, very difficult to to get also with. Uh, uh, with equipment I have, I mean, it's just. Why well, I, I think I did I did it once with a film uh, March, uh, which I show in a film program. Uh, it's not in the, in the show, and I decided don't show it today because it was running one month ago here, like one time in the evening. And then, but it, it's it was very much about music because uh, uh, the I heard the, I heard the, I, I was with camera. I heard this March uh, music. I went there because I was expecting something, and I. See is I found something completely different, and uh, at the same time, at the end of the shooting, um, I, it's, it's in a film. I found, uh, I mean, I see the boy who said, who said, uh, I cannot stand this march anymore. If they repeat it again, I go to the shop and I will buy the earplugs. Uh, so because they were playing this march, because these old people, there are two sides of the, the two groups of people. They are all were used as a uh, human decoration, you know, like to just to celebrate something which was in the theater behind them and they were they were just uh, you know like invited to like it was a, a cheer, uh, cheerleaders and um, a little of uh, future officers little cadets how they call it. so and this but this on, i think only work when when i have music and the, the music was uh, also the, the 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 beginning of the work and uh, always very different. And sometimes I'm not very satisfied with uh, with the music, like a film uh, which is uh, in a, uh, also in a show called Marmot. I use uh, I was looking at the material and uh, uh, it was uh, the sound of demonstration. And uh, so I was looking at it and looking. Usually I, I also first I watch the reality and after I watch the video for a long time and don't know what to do with it. And uh, uh, my daughter was playing this marmot piece, and he did so. She did so many mistakes, and she also. What I like very much afterwards that she was exaggerating emotional moment, you know, like uh, make it more sad than it was, <laughs> like a very, very amateur way. So, and I found. Uh, I mean, I, I used this piece like very individual approach. It was quite. Uh, uh, and and because of this, uh, actually, th this work has a strange title. Uh, sometimes, I mean, without uh, um, context, it sounds uh, it looks a little bit strange. But in Russia, this music of Beethoven has a title "Marmot." So this is a title of music. It's nothing else, uh, but <laughs> becomes some, somehow something else. So, but it's uh, all the time different. 
and not not all the time very successful. I think uh, should be should be more conscious of the, the music because it's yeah I, I believe in sounds. I I like sounds. Um, I mean I trust to sounds more than to visual things. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, uh, Cosmin, for example, you. Um, I mean. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to I laugh at. <laughs> no, like in in the shop we have very big uh, porcelain shop uh, in Moscow with um, uh, with um, um, all kind of um, these things. And if you buy something, they always uh, uh, before they put it in before they wrap it uh, in the paper, they they will do like this, like 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 this. So and. By sound, and it's not visible. I mean, it it look okay, but if it doesn't make ra right sound, it's you know, it's it has a little uh, crack, uh, in, so a little slit. So, and um, I think the sound is very honest. Like and a yeah, but yeah. Like testing a melon. <laughs> so. I would like to thank Olga very, very, very much for this very, very interesting discussion and to all of you for coming and staying with us. And before um, we finally say goodbye, I would just want to announce um, the next and last event that we have in conjunction with uh, the exhibition. And yeah, that will be another attempt to sort of like, well, to frame or but to you know, enter the, the, the work of Olga through another angle. And in this case, it will be somebody who will be less amateur than myself, and it will be Ekaterina Degot, uh, art historian, critic, and curator from Moscow that has followed um, Olga's work for many, many years and has written uh, a lot about, uh, about Olga. And she will deliver a lecture in the same place here at the Utrecht Archive on the 15th of March at 8 o'clock as well, like today. And now I would like to invite you all to Buck, where we're still open for another hour and there are free drinks. And you can see the artist edition um, and you can buy the artist edition. And you can also come back again now that we're open until April 17th. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, big pleasure.